Well, welcome back, everybody. We want to continue to keep you updated on breaking news out of Belgium. If you're just waking up with us, there have been several deadly explosions in Brussels. This is being called a terrorist attack. And we know that at least two explosions rocked the city's airport. And right now we're learning about more explosions being reported on the city's subway. And we know at this moment that it's just too hard to tell exactly how many people have been killed. But so far, the death toll is more than 20. And dozens others injured. Meanwhile, leaders all across Europe are condemning the attacks, calling them cowardly. Our Nick Monticelli has been following all of the developments out of Brussels. Bring us up to speed on exactly what happened for those just waking up with us. Well, there was a calculated and coordinated terrorist attack in the city of Brussels, both at the airport and in a subway station, Rhonda. As you mentioned, the number of dead continues to climb. We are now more than 20. More have been injured, and the latest information is that of one of the explos explosions in the airport, one of them was a suicide bomber, and the entire area in Brussels is still locked down. The people there are still evacuating the subways. <laughs> So this is brand new video into our newsroom as if the sound doesn't tell the story enough. An explosion there in the subway station forcing people to get off and walk the tracks underground back outside. Victims are lying on the sidewalks being treated and helped. In all, again, more than 20 have been killed. It's believed another 35 or more have been injured. What's unclear is if those numbers are from this subway, the airport, or both. Again, another explosion at the airport. The video, this is the video you may have seen already moments after the first attack at the Brussels airport. You can see people running frantically, not sure what was happening in this. Also video inside of that airport, you can see the debris scattered all over. People grabbing their luggage, leaving. And this video is of those evacuating, trying to get out of the airport after those attacks. The attacks happened at about 8 o'clock in the morning, their time, which is 3 o'clock a.m. our time. Two explosions at the airport in an international check-in hall, which is very close to an American Airlines desk. Now, of all the attacks, again, these are considered, uh, considered to be terrorist attacks. There's some close connections to what's happening in France or the Paris attacks. But there in Brussels, people are being told to stay Put. The prime minister or foreign minister, I should say, not sure when the attacks are going to end. If they haven't already, kids cannot leave school. Folks are being told to stay inside their homes, their businesses. This, as you can imagine, is a very fluid and terrifying situation. I'm live in the Satellite Center. Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today. It's unbelievable. It certainly is. Nick, let's talk about any security changes here at home. We know this happened in Brussels, but sometimes there's a ripple effect across the world. Have you been hearing anything? There is. We've reached out to the Detroit Police Department to see if any changes. We haven't heard just yet. We do know that the New York City Police Department is ramping up security of patrols all over. That's usually normal. New York City is usually the first to make those changes, and then other cities throughout the country then follow suit. Alrighty, Nick Monticelli keeping us updated on this tragedy over in Belgium right now. Of course, Nick, thank you. And of course, Brussels has already been on the radar in terms of terrorism because of the developing story that we continue to follow of the manhunt that's been underway for a newly named suspect there, allegedly linked to the Paris terror attacks. The suspect is identified as Najam Lauzauri and is a possible accomplice of Salah Adislam, who has been on the run for four months after the attacks and recently captured. Lauzauri's DNA was reportedly found during recent raids at locations that housed explosives. Meanwhile, Adeslam's lawyer says that he is talking but is fighting extradition back to France.